Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Wes here and today we're going to be giving you, showing you guys a tutorial on how to randomize all ROMs including 3DS ROMs. So the Universal Randomizer recently got a, uh, a fork um, in which um, someone has a lot, uh, fixed it where it can actually randomize 3DS ROMs which is absolutely fantastic. Um, a feature we've needed for a long time. Uh, big shout outs to um, everyone that made this possible. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, how to take advantage of this new feature. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get you download the Pokemon uh, randomizer. Uh, I will leave a link in the description below. Um, just follow that link and download it um, and uh, extract it. And once you get to this point, you will see Pokemon Y and you'll see the randomizer. Um, once you get to this point, you basically just want to open up the uh, the folder with the randomizer and you want to run both of those uh, Java files inside. Um, and once you've done that, um, it will open the application. Um, and then you will uh, click open ROM and you will go through and find the ROM. And once you've found the ROM, you just want to select it and here we go. Um, now you can go through and set settings however you want. There's a lot of new things in this as well um, Such as like top theme trainers and stuff like that really cool stuff. I really really like it um, Gonna make for some interesting let's plays. That's for sure. So um, Once you have selected all the randomization that you want to we want to go up to randomize uh, And it says save in parentheses. So you just go up there and you click on that. All right uh, once you have clicked on that, oh yeah, by the way, there's a new setting that um, actually like the mega evolutions that you can find in the wild, it actually keeps on mega. So that's really cool. Um, there's also field item randomization, which was never possible before, which is awesome. Um, anyway, sorry about that. Uh, you click randomize and then you want to click up and then you want to click on the layered, uh, um, the layered option and you can just create a new folder in the, uh, the folder that you're in and uh, select it and it will add the it'll put those in there and now that you've got those files in their own folder you want to open up the folder um open up the folder inside that and you just want to um grab those and you just want to copy them now we're going to open up citra and once we get citra open here um you can see we already have the ROM loaded. To do this, you just put the ROM, um, put a copy of the ROM in a Citra folder, or you can go up to the file and load. You wanna go ahead and open up the ROM, make sure it works. Then we wanna right click and we wanna open mods, a mods folder. And once we do that, um, it will pop up this folder. And you just wanna paste those um, files inside the folder that it opens up. Um, It'll have the same numbers as the folder that you got them in. Just go into that folder and you paste them in there. Uh, and once you've done that, you're good to go. It's got everything uh, set up and ready for you. We'll go ahead and open up the game and uh, show you guys that it works. But yeah, that's it. Look here. Um, we're just going to speed through this real quick and um, show you guys that the starters have been randomized. This is something I could never get to work before. So. Um, them being randomized is just huge. It's awesome. And it can randomize all the moves just like that. And it's so awesome. But yeah, guys, enjoy. Enjoy this new tool. It's awesome. Um, going to make things a lot better for everybody in the Pokemon community. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial. Be sure to subscribe. Check us out on Twitch if you want to. Twitch.tv forward slash W3S7. Love you guys to death. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.